in this video, we're going to be once again dealing with an exception to the search warrant requirement of the Fourth Amendment, namely search incident to arrest. And if last week I dealt with a case where an individual was being arrested in their home, I'll link that video here above. This week we'll be dealing with somebody being arrested in their vehicle. This is a Supreme Court case, New York versus Belton, where a police officer gives chase to a speeding vehicle. He eventually pulls over this vehicle and there are four people in the car. When he approaches the vehicle, the police officer can smell burnt marijuana. He also notices that there's an envelope on the floor of the car that says Super Gold, which he associates with marijuana. So he places all four people under arrest for possession of marijuana. At this point, you should be outraged, thinking, why would a police officer arrest every single person just because there's suspicion that somebody possesses marijuana in the car? But that's not what the case is about. The case is about a search incident to arrest. So the question becomes, can the police officer search the rest of the car when he arrests these individuals? In this case, here's what happened. When he arrested all four people, the police officer then went to the car. He started looking for narcotics and other incriminating evidence. In the back seat, he found a black leather jacket. He then opened the pocket of that jacket and found more drugs, namely cocaine, in one of the pockets. So the question becomes, can he search the compartment inside the vehicle and later the container, namely the jacket? and what's inside the pocket of that jacket. Mr. Belton goes all the way to the Supreme Court and tries to argue that that's unconstitutional under the Fourth Amendment. After all, the Fourth Amendment protects you against unreasonable searches and seizures, and it requires the cops to get a warrant prior to searching any of your property. But in this situation, there is no warrant, and the cops rely on an exception to the search warrant requirement, namely search incident to arrest. The Supreme Court reminds us about the case Chamel, which we've analyzed last week. Under that case, an individual being arrested can be searched prior to taken into custody, as well as the area in the immediate control of that person. So in this case, the Supreme Court tells us that the automobile was within the immediate control of Mr. Belton. So not only Mr. Belton could have been searched, but any compartment inside the vehicle could have been searched. This is not a good Supreme Court case. And in fact, I urge your defense attorneys to argue against it. In this situation, the cops, not only did they search inside the vehicle, but they opened compartments. They looked inside the jacket. I understand that the jacket was within the plain view, it was inside the vehicle, and I get that. But the question becomes, can the police officer then search a glove compartment that's locked under the key just because it's inside the vehicle? That becomes a really good question. And I'd like to see what do you think about that. So comment below under this video, what do you think? Can a police officer search in a locked compartment? And as a tip, I urge you to always lock your glove compartment. And the items such as your registration and proof of insurance, maybe keep it outside of it. So when the police officer approaches your car, he doesn't automatically get to look inside your glove compartment just because that's where you're grabbing all of your papers. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so next time I post, you'll be first to know. And if you haven't told your friend, maybe share this channel with your friend and let him know that you're learning something about the law.